Big change from last year for the city of Lansing. No police or firefighters expected to lose their jobs in this year's budget. Mayor Verge Bernero tells us the city is looking at a deficit of just under $5 million, $15 million less than last year. That will not, however, come without sacrifice. Bernero warns that non-emergency city employees will have to take furlough days, may soon be paying more for their health care, and layoffs could also be a possibility. We had a workforce of 1,200 when I came in here seven years ago. Now we have 850. So, you know, we know that our employees, city, uh, you know, city workers are working harder, faster, and smarter. That's how we've been able to get work done. We have increased productivity. Now, the good news, the city will have money to strengthen public safety and pay for roads because voters passed that millage back in November. Mayor Bernal says he will continue to look at consolidating and sharing services for savings in the future. And back to those furlough days for a second. City workers, as I mentioned, who are not emergency personnel, they may have to take furlough days and four day work weeks could be a norm for at least a little bit. Mayor Bernero says he hopes that they don't go that far. That's why he's hoping all city employees will contribute more to their health care to help fill the deficit. That's just a proposal so far. City administration will be negotiating with the unions on the final deal. Currently, we, we uh, have the burden of quite a bit of our, our health care cost at this point and uh, met and exceeded uh, all concessions and costs that were uh, asked for at the uh, uh, last negotiations. Chuck says once they get more details on the proposal, the union will be willing to work with the city administration to find a solution.